So my name is Marcus and the music I make is just rap or if you would like to put it into its own little genre, just be like boom bap. My music really, uh, I really try to emphasize a lot on like bringing a message to the table every single time. You know, I write whether it's within the hook, whether it's within just the bars and I try to be pretty versatile as well. The song, what's the word, baby girl, what's the word? That was really just like, yo, I've been trying to get at this chick for a whole ass year and she will not give me the time of day. And this is like my SOS, I'm throwing in the towel, like this is what I got. And so I made this song and I thought it really captured like the emotions I was feeling at that time, you know? So what's the word, baby girl, what's the word? I've been trying to make your mind for at least a couple years. Every time I hit your line, you gon' leave me on disturb. Every time you hit my line, you just hit me for the earth. So what's the word, baby girl, what's the word? I've been trying to make your mind for at least a couple years. Every time I hit your line, you gon' leave me on disturb. Every time you hit my line, you just hit me for the earth. You know, what's the word? I've been trying to get this girl's attention for all of this time, you know, for a fucking year. You know, she don't want to give me the time of day, but when she do, she trying to hit me for that herb. To find the words, similes and verbs just to meet ya. I greet ya. Bodies hot as fire, need extinguishers. To unlit the flame that's burning very slowly. Talking every night and writing poems about your beauty. You phenomenal, astronomical. You a star. Shooting through the universe and zooming in my car. Sitting back and waiting and praying. No love is hard. I've been looking for the signs. I'm just hoping it's your God. I've been trying to get with this girl and I've been looking for the signs and the whole time I was just hoping it was her guard that was up and maybe she just felt like maybe I was gonna hurt her, but nah. That's not what it was. I'm just hoping that you're gone. That is up, feeling stuck. Got a brother feeling fucked. Double rum in my tongue. Make a brother wanna run. You've been feeding for attention. Let me come and give you sun. I may hit you in the morning before the rise of the sun. I like to hang out, you know? And I like to go see the sunrise. You know, I think that's a really romantic and a good way to just spend a morning, start your day off, you know? Go get some coffee, write some poems. Feeling fun when the sun hit your eyes. Plagiarizing lyricism under. Stand up What's the time? What's the mission of this day? Am I running out of time or did I shoot my shot too late? So what's like, the because I'm thinking like, all right, she's not into me anymore, you know, or her guards up, I can't, you know, maybe she's not into me. I'm just wasting my time. I did shoot my shot way too late. And they had. My family, I'd say, is pretty supportive. You know, they, they went out to see me perform at Freak Fest. They always pushed me to go further with my music. My sound is pretty just me and unique with influences, lyrically, structure of music. I'd like to say anything from the East Coast, New York, uh, 90s, early 2000s, and like the 2010s. I feel like people really sleep on the early 2010s. That's when Joey Badass, Pro Era, Capital Steez and all of them were around. And that is just the product of what the 90s had made. You know, I started making music in junior year of high school and I didn't really know anybody else I was making music. So I thought I was the only one and I was just, you know, whatever about it. But then started to come around, I started to meet more people. And that's when I met my homies, Joe Cotton, Alexander Kane, Justin Campbell, young son, Mikey. And that's when we had formed our little, you know, our little squad, Sasso. So the truth is I write all of my lyrics on the toilet, in the bathroom, in the shower, because that is where I'm one with myself. I am at peace and I'm just thinking freely because nobody's disturbing me because I'm taking a shit, you know? Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the acoustics in my bathroom are phenomenal. There is nothing better than my bathroom acoustic. I've been to studios and my acoustics in the bathroom sound 10 times better. So do not sleep on your bathroom's acoustics. Definitely try everything out in the bathroom before you go take it to a studio. So you guys can find me on all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, even Tidal. RQAM for Instagram, Snapchat is Mark 2.0, and then the Twitter is M underscore underscore A-R-Q-U-E-S. This is like a crazy experience and I'm really blessed to be here and be in this moment and like have an interview. Cause I, this is like my first interview ever. So thank you very much to Jacoby Studios. I'm pretty good at Call of Duty. I know that for a fact. I'll smack anybody at Call of Duty. Played way too much of that when I was younger. Yeah, bro, it just got really bad. It started to become an addiction. <laughs> um, 
Um, yes, definitely Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I bought like 15 different copies of that game. Yeah. I like would slam my desk and then the Xbox would move and they would give like that laser burn to the CD. So it'd just be like, damn, I need to go get another Modern Warfare 3. So that's what I would do.